Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today back to working over here on the Lucas Horizontal Boring Mill, and hopefully uh, at the end of this one, we're going to have it pretty much back together. Uh, I am getting really, really close. We got the tailstock all painted and finished up and mounted back on the machine, uh, and today what I need to be working on is getting the alignment of that tailstock and the headstock where they are in line with one another. They're not right now. I know that for a fact and uh, we need to do some precision measuring to make sure they're at the same height so that when we raise and lower, they're, they're moving up and down right there together. And when we put a long boring bar in there and use this for actually boring, uh, that that'll be making a nice straight cut across. That's the game plan. So um, let's uh, pick up where we left off uh, in the last video where we got the tailstock mounted. And uh, let's see if we can get this uh, thing finished, put back together. Uh, get the bearing put in there and then get everything lined up. Let's get at it. So this is the uh, block that the bearing fits into on the tailstock. And we're going to go ahead and kind of get it over here where it needs to be. All right now this is um, pretty much all the way up. Slide my gantry crane in just a little bit. There's a block right here that this fits up on. This is what raises and lowers everything and again there's a dowel pin there's two bolts that bolt this on and then there's another bolt that goes through it from the uh, face plate on the other side uh let's see i need to come up just a touch there we go got these bolts started now i'm going to go ahead and pull it on up on that pin just go a little bit of time here I think we got her on there. Now we need to get the front plate back on this one. Um, I use the gantry to pick up the back one. I just uh, put a little eye bolt in the top to hoist it up there. This one, I think I just manhandled the last time. Uh, let's see what we can do on it. Give me just a second here. Before I put the uh, front plate back on, we got the bearing. This is just a bronze bushing that kind of goes through this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back in because it sticks out just a little bit in the front. And that piece will hang on it. So get this lead hammer here. Kind of bump that forward. Here on this side, there's a little metal clip that captures that in there and uh, keeps that bronze bearing from coming out. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of socket cap screws in here that hold that in place. And that should keep that from uh, coming back out. There we go. This is the plate that covers the other side here. And we'll get it up onto the bearing. This uh, long bolt goes all the way through it and up into that center um, piece that we have in there that raises and lowers everything. shoulder bolts up here on the top. I'm just going to finger tight these right now or tight as I can get them with my fingers. And then 
the two bolts down here on the bottom. And get a wrench here and tighten all these up. should have that back installed. So up next, what I want to do is I want to get a rough measurement here on the height of this uh, tailstock. And I, what I've got is I've just got a straight edge across here that I can move to the other side. It just gives me something to measure off of. And I'm, this is not a precision measurement. It's about 39 inches to the center of this bearing. What I'm going to do is we're going to pick the tailstock up now so that it's not being driven by that gear. I'm going to go over there and raise the head on the other side till it also measures roughly 39 inches. And then we can start making more precision measurements to uh, get it set just right. I've got this same piece here across the bottom and we're just going to measure up to the center of this. We're roughly at 23 inches right now. And we're going to take the head up. We're raising it up now, and uh, this is independent of the tailstock. We have them disconnected at the moment, and I want to go up to 39 inches. All right, that's roughly 39 inches. So uh, we are going to go ahead and shut that off, and uh, let me work on. I uh, see. Probably go ahead and put the boring bar in, and um, then we can start making some measurements with it. So when I got this machine, it came with uh, a boring bar, which is this long bore right here, or long bar right here, rather. And what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of installing this in place. So we're just going to try to get it lined up over here with the hole, see if I can get it started. I do have the uh, tailstock bolted down right now. Yeah. I'm going to loosen up the chain here, move my strap to the other side. This should be pretty well balanced right here. All right. Let's see if we can continue it on here.
now that I've got the boring bar installed, I've got it up here in the Morse taper socket. There is a wedge that goes in here to keep this tight. I don't have a wedge for this, not to make one, but it is in there tight. I did wedge it in there. I just took the wedge out that I used it because it was sticking out too far. It's not the right size, but it is in here like it needs to be installed. Um, next thing I need to do here is take some measurements and see if we need to tweak the height of the tail stock, I suspect that we will. And to do that, I've got this uh, brown and sharp inside micrometer, tubular micrometer set. This, uh, you can make it pretty much whatever length you want. I've got all these extensions in here. I can go out to something like 24 feet or something crazy like that with a micrometer. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna put together some pieces here, make a micrometer that'll fit, and I'm gonna measure the height on this end, the height on this end, and then make an adjustment uh, if necessary. So we've got a micrometer head here. This is five inches long, five to six inches. And uh, I'm just gonna take it, these uh, screw together. There's a, uh, was that a four inch extension, I think. Um, here's a six inch extension. Screw those in there. Here's a 12 inch extension. And uh, these are all precision lengths. You can see the high precision level on there. But now we've got a inside mic and we can come over here now and, and measure that distance uh, very accurately. All right, so we're gonna again use our uh, ground block down here on the bottom side. I'm gonna put this in here and we will just crank this up with the micrometer head. go and I'm going to read this out this is just going to be a comparative measurement so we are at looks like two thousand and seven and a half I'll write that down I'm just going to double check this I got 207 there, so within half a thou, I'm just gonna call it 207 thousandths. All right, we're gonna go to the other end, measure it, and we'll compare them and see what type of adjustment we need to make on the headstock end or tailstock end. All right, it's considerably lower. Let's read that. We are at, all right, we're at 84 thousandths. So let's look at our math. We started out at 207 thousandths on the tail stock end. We measured 84 thousandths on the head stock end down here. So I took 207 minus 84. I got 123 thousandths. So that's how much we need to lower the uh, tail stock end. Now I did my calculation before, each tooth on that is about 6.944 thousandths. So I divided that out and basically I need to move it about 18 teeth. It's not exact, but that's gonna get us within a couple of thousand should. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, adjust my tail stock end and we'll get another measurement and see how close we are. So I've got the tail stock unbolted, picked up with the gantry crane and I've just, I can reach down in here where this gear is at and I can turn it. I've already started the process. And what I'm gonna do is just finish turning this around. I made a mark on my gear where I wanted it to be, which is about right there. We're gonna lower this back down, clamp it back down, remeasure everything and if necessary, make another adjustment. Hopefully we'll get it 
right the first time here, but that should drop it down by that much based on the calculations that we did where each tooth is uh, about seven thousandths of an inch. Uh, moving at 18 teeth should move the head down to line it up with the, with the uh, headstock. Let's hope so. All right. Well, guys, I've made a couple of rounds of measurements here and done a little bit more fine tuning. I think the after the first one, I had to move it five teeth, and then I had to go back and move it one more teeth. Uh, and right now, it is within two thousandths. Uh, the tail stock in is two thousandths lower than the head stock, and that is within the adjustments that I can do with the, the teeth on the gear. So from here, I'm gonna probably come back in, and I'm gonna do this off camera later because I'm just running out of time. I need to get this video wrapped up. Uh, but I'm gonna come in here and we'll put some shim stock, 2000 shim stock up underneath this and that should raise it up just enough uh, to get it fine tuned and get it pretty much perfectly in line. So there you go. Uh, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at here. We got the tail stock pretty well back together like it needs to be. We got it pretty well uh, calibrated. 2000 over that distance probably is fine for a boring bar. Uh, but, you know, I think we can get a little bit better, so that's going to be the game plan. Uh, we'll make it as, as good as we can. That's, uh, that's the ultimate goal here, get this machine as accurate as possible. So with that, guys, uh, that is going to be a wrap. Hope you enjoyed seeing me doing some alignment work here and kind of doing the final steps here on getting this machine ready to go. And uh, once I come back and do that, I mean, I think this machine is theoretically kind of ready to maybe make some cuts and, do some uh, some work. I've got a couple of jobs that I want to do on this machine coming up here pretty soon. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. So with that, guys, that's a wrap. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those thumbs up and comments are always greatly appreciated. Hit that bell icon up there to get notifications when new videos are posted. And uh, as always, a huge thank you to my uh, supporters out there who support the site on Patreon, PayPal, etc. Uh, we could not bring all the content that we do to you without all of your help. And guys, with that, we will catch you on the next video again. Thanks for watching.